Hi guys, welcome back to indianmoney.com. This is Sana Ram. Who among us doesn't like to be called rich? We obviously want the society to recognize us as rich people because we do put in our efforts, we give most of our time in earning money. But then, what should be your net worth or what should be your annual income to for someone to consider you as rich? So watch my video till then to get a clear idea about the same. So the first one is annual income. So this differs from people to people from the different jobs what they do. Might start from 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 5 lakh, 20 lakh, 50 lakh, 1 crore and above in which they earn on yearly basis. Here after many surveys they have stated that people who are earning 20 lakh and above are considered rich in the society. And everyone who earns below it consider themselves as middle class. But it doesn't work like that. I'll tell you why. Because if a person is earning 10 lakh per year, like for the 12 months if he or she is getting 10 lakh, they actually fall under the 0.22 percentage of globe's richest people. For instance, if there are 1000 people in the world, 997 are actually earning less than you. So till now you would have been cursing yourself because you are getting only 10 lakh per whole year. But then trust me, there are people who are getting lower than you. So stop cursing and be happy with what you get. Net worth. So first let us understand what net worth is. Your assets minus liabilities. So the remaining is considered to be a net worth. And depending on your income, your savings and everything, your net worth differs. So let us start from 2 crore and it extends till 50 and above. And after surveys, it has been stated that people who are earning 2 crore to 10 crore are considered to be rich. Beyond they become super riches and below they become middle class. Okay, let us leave all these crores beside. If you are an individual having 60 lakhs net worth, trust me, you are 8% among the 8% of the richest people in the world. And if we consider India, you are in 0.4%. For instance, if I have to say, if there are 1000 people in the country, 995 are actually below your net worth if you have a net worth of 60 lakhs. So this is how things work. Like we at times don't understand where we really stand. So today I am telling you, if you have a net worth of 60 lakhs, be happy and say, yes, I am rich. So we saw about the annual income and of course the net worth. So if you are sitting there and wondering, no, I am not satisfied with my annual income and of course I don't actually have a good net worth. Don't worry, most of us are like you. We all are actually struggling to come up in life. So there are various ways actually how you can earn more money and how to save and how to invest and how to actually grow. But then straining on the same thing is not going to help you. But the truth is more money, more happy, more income, more happy. That is a fact I would say. Because we getting 10 lakhs as an annual income and then we have our EMIs, we have our loans. If you are married, you have your children fee. You have to take care of the whole house. Though the partners are sharing their money and both of them are working, they don't have enough money to get a good life, maybe a better life I would say. But then things will eventually happen. And trust me, today I am telling you, you are doing a wonderful job. If you look behind, you have started from a scratch and now you have reached somewhere where you actually are something and you look in the future you're going to reach somewhere from where you'll turn back and say yes i have crossed everything now i'm in a place where i can proudly say i have achieved it but i would tell you say enough that you have achieved it because if you have not struggled so much you wouldn't have reached here and if you haven't reached here Maybe trust me, if you are watching this video through a mobile phone, you wouldn't be having that mobile phone which you bought in your own money. So things work like that. We have to go slow, take it slowly, go with the flow of life. But make sure you have good targets in life, have some aspiration, go for it and have the thing inside you, the gut feel which says you that yes, you're going to go and do it. Go and do it because everyone have done it, of course we can do. And at times you might think your life is too miserable or it is too struggled but we do have people who are actually struggling even more it is obviously fine to look at them and say yeah i'm actually well ahead and help them and feel happy telling that i did something good to be in this place and thinking about ourselves and feeling sad will not help us but accepting that we have done something good and believing that we can do better is what is going to push you ahead 
So push yourself ahead, set some good targets, achieve it and call yourself rich now and then and always. This is how really things work. So I'm ending my video here. You guys take care. If you have any financial queries or you're planning to do anything since you have listened to this, you can go ahead and give us a missed call. Any doubts related to finance, we are there to assist you with the same. 022-6181-6111 is a number. Just give us a missed call. Our money doctors will be giving you a call back. Let them know about your queries and they'll assist you with the same. So this is Sanaram signing off. You guys take care. Think wise and become rich. Thank you.